See you later, See you tonight. Okay, bud. He loves Show me. me. He really loves me. <laughs> Where are we going? We're going over there. Oh, you're going to film me? Yeah. This is how I walk. <laughs> I've been working on it. Oh, you all right? <laughs> That'd be hilarious. This is how I walk. <laughs> this guy's really unsteady on his feet. How are you, man? I'm good. Can I see that for a second? Of course. Here I am. Look what I'm wearing. <laughs> Wait, look, there you can see it now. How cool. Okay, so we're going to do the interview like that? Yeah, that would be I'm great. I'm going to ask a question. <laughs> <laughs> no. You want to see this ugly mug? You're too handsome. <laughs> Tell me. Thank you very much. Tell me, uh, this movie has been like so waited here in Montreal. Like, in really? Quebec, like people are waiting for this movie. They're saying it's a new slap shot. It's a hockey movie. Hockey is a religion here. Do you yeah. feel a pressure because tonight's a big premiere? Not until you just asked me that. <laughs> I was feeling pretty good until you. Just... No, I mean, I I have a feeling they're going to love it. Like I, it's yeah. I I didn't know. Obviously, you know, it's funny because of this movie is the reason why I like just went on Twitter. I never went on this Twitter thing before, yeah. you know, on the World Wide Web, uh -huh. and so I... You don't I, have a Twitter account? No, well, I, I created a fake one to see how to twi Twitter, whatever it is. And what's your fake Twitter account? Oh, I can't tell you because it's fake. <laughs> no, I'm not, I would tell you, but I don't have... I'm, okay. I'm, not, putting After. I'm After. not putting tweets out. Okay. I just wanted to go on and push, put in things and see what else other people are doing. Okay. So I put in Goon Movie, and I've been, so I've been watching people respond to the extent. So I've had a sense of, like, how people... Uh, seem to be excited. That's great. I, I don't think it's going to disappoint. I mean, maybe some people m might be a little upset with some of the violence, but I think because the it is very so violent. Sweet, but it's so violent. It's like a, sometimes it's not so real. It's not real. It's right. like a, a, a comic. You know, it's like right. a, you know, it's too 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 much. Yeah, that's and real credit to you know to the director to Michael Dowse for that because it, it's. Brutal enough where it feels different. It's not. It's not like it looks kind of real, but then it's just it's skewed enough where you're like, that's ridiculous. Is it like, who could take one thousand punches to the head like that? <laughs> and is it too vulgar? I. You know, I, I can only go on the experience. Like my mom was at the the, the screening at the Toronto Film Festival, and she loved the movie. And, and she you were also, sitting next. Oh yeah, and she, but you have to remember. I've, done some really weird stuff in movies. Oh, yeah, in so American think, Pie, yeah. yeah, it's true. I think she was just happy, like, if other people are doing gross things, <laughs> like, I'm just so happy my son's being he's being sweet in a movie for once. Okay, tell me the top three things that you did in movies that... That I was maybe embarrassed? Yeah. Well, I, clearly, I think, my mom watched uh, American Pie 1 and saw me drink a beer with some jizz in it. <laughs> that, was, that was a real good start to my career. <laughs> and then... I'm sure, well, the anal prostate ejaculation scene in Road Trip was probably one she was a little bit confused about. And then I think, I don't know, maybe having sex with Jason Biggs' grandma, well, her character in American Wedding. Those three were ones I'm sure my mom was like, that's my son. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> Tell me about your character in Goon. Uh, Doug Glatt. I played Doug Glatt. Um, Uh, he's just a good guy who's not really found his place in the world. He's uh, the black sheep of his family. His, his family are all doctors, and he just doesn't feel like he's, uh, you know, just doesn't feel like he's as smart as them, as good as them. And, you know, the one thing is working out as a bouncer, and he re and uh, gets into it, and it goes to a hockey game, gets, uh, he protects his friend from the fight. Then he gets this opportunity to try out for a team, even though he can't skate. He gets the job, and you know how to skate in real life. No, I suck. No, terrible. Come on. Yeah, I'm terrible. But like I, well, everything you see in the movie, that's that's real. But think how the character wasn't supposed to be good, because otherwise I would have been out there practicing, you know, because I'm method. <laughs> You're a method actor. Yeah, I'm method actor. <laughs> Did you go into a camp, a hockey camp, to? Uh... No, I had a great guy that used to play professional that. I, that I had skated with like a month before. Um, and, but the movie, the, I mean, I know a lot of the guys had, you know, the guys that were supposed to be really good skaters, they trained hard for it. 
I spent most of my time just thinking, you know, bulking up. You know, I wanted to be bigger, and, and I, uh, yeah, which was easy for me. Just ate more. Then worked <laughs> no, out less. You worked, no, you worked out a lot. Well, I worked out a lot, but I also ate a lot, too, because I, cause I just had the chance to, finally. And it was hard to lose that weight, by the way. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it took a while, but... Um, How much... Oh man, I gained like 35 pounds. For the wow. Movie. Yeah, it was. But it works. These guys are so big, you know, that I would have looked scrawny in this size, you know, compared to. But, um, but that was about as much preparation as I had going into it. You're still pretty big, like, you know? It's just a tight jacket. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> wear tight clothes. Um, well, you're already fit, but to wear tight clothes makes you look fit. And uh, the tattoo, is, is it real? or? It's yeah, more? it's real. Okay. We didn't have the budget to cover it up, so we just went with it. You have this super sweet, like, proper guy that's got these tribal <laughs> tattoos. Didn't quite make sense, but it'll be fine. Working with Marc-André Grondin. Ah, uh, he's great. First time, of course, working with him. Right. Did right. you watch his movie? Did you know where where it was coming from? I heard about him. I I I, I, I didn't get to see Crazy or his other films, or, you know. But I think it was better that way for me because I, getting a chance to work with him and and that, you know now call him a really close friend. It was so much fun to see his work after uh, seeing him do this. And it was he's a, every, all the actors in this movie. I'm not just saying it because you're supposed to. I I think are great. Marc Andre on Twitter. You know? I know, I saw it because I put it in the movie and I was like following and I was like, hey, he's a Twitter guy. And, uh, he's using his real name. That's it. Yeah. And he can't be here tonight because... Yeah, he's, he's doing a great film in Paris, right? Or France? Yeah. In Prague. Oh, in Prague, okay. With a very famous French yeah. actor. Yeah, he's been a cool uh, character. Gérald, Gérald Depardieu. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that guy. Yeah, he's done a couple movies. Um, yeah, I, uh, he's great. Like, he's... Uh, uh, Marc-Andre, like... Yeah, It was funny because he was kind of in character a little bit, you know, throughout the movie. I mean, he was not, he was not an ass. He was still sweet, but kind of to himself and stuff. And then, oh, yeah. um, you know, which is great because I just, it was so much fun to watch him work. And then you watch the movie and you're like, wow, what he did was awesome. But uh, then when in the Toronto Film Festival, I got to hang out with him. It's just like so lively. It was like, ah, oh, man, your method. You're so in character. So, uh, how long are you here for in Montreal? Well, uh, we and meet tomorrow. We we go to Toronto. Um, we have a premiere there Wednesday. But I live in New York, and I'm planning on coming back. It's a 45 minute flight, so I'm going to come back for That's the it. jazz festival. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's, it's good to see the city more. And to ski, maybe in Tremblant? I did. No. I went for, the, my, for Christmas, this last Christmas, New Year's. I was there with my girlfriend. We went. Uh, Uh, yeah. First time I ever snowboarded, never skied. First time I snowboarded, I did pretty good. Okay, I only fell down three times. And what did you get to see uh, in 24 hours in Montreal? The hotel room. The hotel room. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I already <laughs> lost my phone. I haven't even partied. <laughs> <laughs> you lost your phone? Yeah, dude. Somebody in the hotel stole it. No. I think so, man. I literally was this morning. I was in the lobby. Then I got in the car, went to this one building, which is one room for interviews. And I don't know where it is. With all your contacts in it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're looking for it now. No, with, with no like... I found it, I found it. Don't even look for it, I found it. So ah, okay. <laughs> and what's your uh, other projects? What are you working on? Um, pornos. Okay. Yeah, I got a trilogy of pornos coming out called Nacho Mama. Nacho Mama? Yeah, okay. Nacho Mama 1, Nacho Mama 2, Nacho Mama 3. <laughs> very spicy. Yeah, very spicy. <laughs> Thank no, but you, I, yeah, yeah, I don't. That's it, though. Just the pornos. That's all I'm doing. No, no, seriously. I, I signed up for 10 American Pie movies. I'm doing 10 more American Pie movies, and I signed a, a four-year, 30-film uh, um, porno deal with uh, Hugh uh, with Huff Hess. Who was the guy? Hugh Hefner. Not Hugh Hefner. Uh, what's his name? Larry Flint. Larry Flint. Yeah. There we go. The people are just yeah. Larry Flint, of course. Yeah. 